Put your glasses up, put your glasses up, a toast to me. I don't believe things happen by accident or by chance. I believe uh, situations happen, events happen for reason or purpose. I believe we as people enter and exit one another's lives for a reason, for a purpose. Yeah, but I definitely don't believe in accidents or, or things happen randomly. Uh, I think we all have a purpose and a mission and things uh, that happen between or in between our life or our birth and our death uh, goes along with uh, the mission. That's part of the mission and uh, things that happen are, are there to guide us towards the finish line to, to help us complete our mission. Uh, I may be in your life or you may be in my life to teach or learn to inspire, uh, to be inspired, uh, to bring joy, to bring peace, teach uh, patience, love, understanding, compassion, you know, but everything uh, happens for a reason. And we may think it's just by chance, you know, just a, a random occurrence while we cross paths, but I, I definitely don't believe that. Um, this is why I tell people, um, count it joy, everything, everything that happens in your life. Uh, don't get too high, don't get too low. It's all for a reason, it's all for a purpose. And it's up to you to eventually figure that out, to, to really reflect when the time comes and go, and go, oh, that was preparing me for this. Or if I didn't experience this or that, I couldn't have handled this situation properly. Uh, that happens to me all the time where I reflect uh, on things from the past. And so, man, even with exes, with relationships that didn't work, man, you got to be grateful. No matter how uh, toxic you think the relationship was uh, with the job, with the woman, uh, with a friend, a family member, just be grateful because without that relationship, without without that lesson, uh, you couldn't handle a current situation or a future situation properly. So that was preparing you. And so you got to be grateful, you know, take it in stride. Uh, I do know once we're on our path, once we're committed to the mission, committed to the, the purpose and going in the right direction. Timing is everything. And people will come into your life at the right time when you really uh, when you really need them to come into your life. You know, uh, you may not even be looking forward, expecting it, and they will come into your life and, and provide what you need for you to complete your mission. Uh, this happened to me in 2021 several times. Things have happened in 2021 that I never would have expected or thought of happening. Uh, I've met several people, man. One of the people I got to mention is Soul Immortal. You got to check out that brother's channel. Uh, you got to check out his page. Uh, Soul Immortal, that brother has helped me immensely. Um, just with the uh, the YouTube channel, book sales, uh, visibility on YouTube. Uh, this brother, you know, asked me to be an ambassador of his movement, uh, the Power Circle. The link is in the description. And uh, I've met quite a few uh, good brothers, great brothers in, in the Power Circle. Never would have expected that. That's not something that I usually would have gotten down with in the past, but I got to salute that brother. Never saw that coming. Uh, even though it was kind of brought to me that this brother, I had an inkling, uh, this brother Soul and I would do some things together, but yeah, I never thought I'd be uh, a part of a, a group like that. Uh, and it's been a blessing. Man, my, my, my girl, Pamela Richardson, hadn't seen her or even come in contact with her probably since junior high or high school. Uh, she extended an offer for me to be on the board of directors of her nonprofit. You know, my, my guy, Leon, uh, 
you know, uh, and that nonprofit is Angel to Angel. Uh, the link would be in the description on that. My brother Leon, uh, he he's over Destination Known, the nonprofit, and he extended an offer for them be for me to be on his board. And I met him through someone else, uh, my, my guy Demetrius. And so, man, it, it, there's a couple other things that have happened, and I did not seek these people out. They were not seeking me out. What we were doing, and this is getting back to my point that there are no accidents and things don't happen randomly. Things have a reason and a, and a purpose. What we all were doing was working. We were working towards the purpose. We're on our mission, all of us. And we crossed paths because we were going in the same direction. Maybe we were doing different things, but we were going in the same direction. That was positivity. With our blinders on, we were going in the same direction and eventually we crossed paths. And that's how it works, man. That's how life works. So for you fellas out there that are frustrated, that feel like uh, you don't have the collaborations you want, you don't feel like you got any help, you're not making the connections you wanna make, Keep working, just stay focused, put your blinders on, but remain slightly open for people to come into your life. The right people will appear, but you gotta be working. You're not gonna run into the people you want to run into and that you should run into if you're not working because these people are working. They're moving forward, they're being progressive. They have, uh, 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 circulating energy, positive energy that's moving forward, that's active. And so if you're stagnant, you're never going to run into these people. You, you guys are never going to cross paths ever because you're stagnant and they're circulating. They're moving forward and you're standing still. And so I encourage you to keep moving forward, man. Keep moving forward, man. The, the, the scripture, uh, I believe it's Jeremiah 1 and 5. It states, uh, before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. You know, that, that's a powerful scripture, man. So to really understand that scripture, that scripture is talking to you. Now, in the scripture itself, you know, this is God talking to Jeremiah, uh, telling Jeremiah, you know, giving him confidence because Jeremiah didn't have the confidence he needed as a young man. So, you know, God was telling him before you were even formed in the womb, I knew you. That means he had purpose. He was uh, consecrated. He was, he was sacred. He was established as sacred and special before he had form in the womb. He was a spirit. He was here. God knew him. So he had to know God, right? Before he was in the womb. You can replace Jeremiah's name with you, with your name. Yeah, stop thinking that, you know, when you read the scripture, that these people don't exist or the scripture is not talking to you, you know, don't get caught up, so caught up in if the scripture is allegory or not, or if these people actually existed. Replace the names with your name and then ask yourself, man, can I relate? That's all that matters. Can you relate? Does this speak to you? to your situation, to your dilemma? Does this speak to your life? So yeah, don't get caught up in the, if it's the allegory, if these, if these people actually existed. Replace Jeremiah with your name. And do you lack anything? Do you lack confidence? Do you, do you lack anything that's stopping you or, or is having you talk negatively to yourself uh, to where you don't wanna pursue your mission, pursue the, 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 the purpose that you're here for? is talking to you. But what I'm going to tell you to do, man, once again, just keep working. And everything will line up, man. I'm telling you. Like I said, man, in 2021, things happened I did not expect to happen. I uh, made connections I was not looking for. I was just focused, man. All I was doing is writing, 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 speaking, 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 and staying focused, man. And things happened in 2021 that were not so favorable, right? But I got to count it all joy.
because all of it is happening for a reason to lead me, to guide me along my mission so I can pursue the purpose I'm here for. So yeah, man, stay positive, stay up, take things in stride. It's not as bad as you think it is. And, and just uh, realize you're here for, for something bigger. What you're going through, uh, the situation you're in that doesn't look so favorable is only a moment, but it's here to help you reach your purpose. It's going to be all right. So, man, keep working, stay focused, and everything will come into your life that you need. As always, from me to you, love, peace.